Hey guys, today we are going to be talking about um, how we're shipping some of our stuff to move across the country. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, we're moving from California to Florida, which is kind of like you know, it's the farthest place we could be moving to on the mainland. We're getting rid of our furniture, we're getting rid of like 90% of our things. We are going to ship a few boxes um, of like sentimental things um, or some things that it just doesn't make, to make sense to repurchase once we get there because it costs too much money. For example, my KitchenAid, um, my KitchenAid like mixer, um, it would be like four or five hundred dollars to rebuy that so it just makes sense to you know keep it and bring it there so we will be doing most of our shipping with large flat rate boxes from USPS and to ship these anywhere in the country is $21 um, which is pretty good because you can fill these with really heavy things the weight doesn't matter it's one flat rate of 21 bucks i think it's like 21 and change and shipping things to florida is not cheap so that's what we're doing i have like seven of these filled already we're probably going to end up shipping around 20 of them um which sounds like a lot but when you take a 1600 square foot house and you only put it into like 20 of these boxes, which it, this looks bigger. It's like really only like this big, you know, like these are the, <laughs> the flaps on the side. So that's not that much stuff. So another thing we're doing to help keep track of everything is we have a list written down and our boxes are numbered. Um, and the list just says like the, the box number. So box one has like photos, a hammock in it and just some memorabilia type stuff so that way when we get to florida if we have a box missing we can kind of know what box was missing and which what was inside the box um, also when you ship things at the post office flat rate they give you a receipt with a tracking number on it but like if you don't know which box is which you're gonna be confused about what box might have gotten lost so hopefully nothing gets lost, but in case it does, we'll know what it was. My husband is also driving our car to Florida and he's hitching a very small trailer to the back of the car and he will be putting his music gear in there because we can't ship his music gear. I guess you probably could, but like, you probably get damaged. <laughs> so that is the plan. And then we are keeping one single piece of furniture in our whole house. And it's this dresser. Let me show it to you. This is the dresser we're keeping. It's the only piece of furniture we're keeping. It's a really nice piece. It's from West Elm. So it's like a super high quality piece of furniture. Um, and it will fit in that little trailer we're getting. And we're getting rid of everything else. I mean, like literally even our beds. We're starting completely new. So yeah, I'm just showing you guys what we're doing. I mean, we aren't moving for 22 more days. So we do have to live in our house still. So I'm donating and packing away things that I know I won't be touching in the next 22 days. So I'm just going to show you guys what we're doing. Okay, so here's another example of something we are bringing and mailing. Um, this is something that's irreplaceable, basically. This is a glass barrel cactus that my husband and I made when we were in Sedona. We took a glass blowing workshop there and we made this together and it's something that I'm not going to get rid of, obviously. So I'm going to wrap it up in some bubble wrap and we're going to ship it over, you know? Okay, so I have a few boxes ready to go for the thrift store already and this is mostly just kitchen stuff i have like wine glasses some prep bowls um, a tea jar more wine glasses some corning ware down there and then like pyrex tupperware some regular drinking glasses and plates and bowls <laughs> 